Morning everybody. So we're out here today. We're gonna do a little metal detecting. Um, found a nice little site. Uh, uh, just kind of appeared to me on a map and, uh, and we got permission to come out. So um, we're gonna take a peek and uh, see what it's all about. First, let me show you what, it, uh, what we're looking at here. So take a look at that. What do you think? It's nice, huh? Yeah, nice old house. Early, early house. And uh, you see the logs underneath the wood. Yeah. So we're talking uh, turn of the century, early, early, possibly 1800s as well. So um, landowner doesn't know much about this location. So uh, let's see if we can pull some relics out and, and see if we can ID some things and put a date to this place at least. So um, let's do some digging and uh, let's pull up some relics. So. See you then. I wanted to show you the uh, the stone that we find. It's a little chilly out here. The stone we find um, out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, you know all the the rest of the house is missing. But here's what uh, the stone actually does. Do you see it right there like that? Yeah, it's holding up the house, and that corner is missing. So that's gonna fall. And uh, you see the fireplace has actually fallen. Yeah, it's not that old. There's some round nails in there, but um, there could have been something on this location much, much earlier. Could you imagine living in something like that? <laughs> yeah, it was just all wood, yeah. Um, no drywall or anything, just wood, 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 wooden nails. All right, so let's go find some treasure. There's just so much darn trash in the ground here. So much. Let's just take a look at the house. I don't think I'm gonna detect this spot, at least not today. It's too cold out to be sitting here digging 50,000 signals. So we'll go to a new spot, but check these, check out the house. Yeah, that's probably the living room. Back porch area. It's probably a bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? That electric. Another door where the fireplace was. Look at that nice old bed. That fireplace is long gone, huh? Goes upstairs right there. Now oh, that would have been a pretty decent house back in the day. Anheuser Bush bottle. Brick. Most of the brick comes from the fireplaces. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. I have a better sight in mind to go to. I kind of had a feeling today was going to be a uh, kind of messy day. I just don't feel like picking through all that garbage today. Um, I want to do some nice digging. This house is not that old. 1920s, 30s. Uh, most of the activity occurred easy to date, so no problem there. Um, but I'm going to take you to a site now that's, there's no junk, no junk whatsoever. It's never, it, it was abandoned quite early. So because it was abandoned early, um, you know, there's no trash. So when there's no trash, you know, you, you find the good stuff. And I found uh, three colonial buttons out of there. Um, nice candle holder, the kind that you, the kind that you hold like this and, you know, you creep to the outhouse with. So. Well, let's uh, let's get our stuff on and let's let's head out of here. So I'll meet you at the next spot. Okay. Hey, welcome back. All right, so we're out at a site, um, one of my favorite sites actually, because it's pretty old. Let me give you a lay of the land here. Take a look. 
doesn't look like much, does it? Yeah. But this is actually one of uh, an earlier, early settler sites. Um, very early, like original settler. So, I'm not sure if this was the barn area or the house area. I've only been here one other time before, and that time was great. So, let's poke around, see what we can find. Um, I like to come out in the wintertime, places like this, because you see here, all this grass, it gets real, real thick in the summertime. It's so thick you can't get your metal detector through it. So, because it's all matted down, because we had our first snow, um, perfect conditions. Perfect. So let's get in here, take a peek. There's a horseshoe in here I couldn't get last time because I didn't have my axe on me. Gotta chop through some roots, so we can get that today. Um, but let me show you what the, the remnants of the foundation looks like. So take a look here. Yeah, see that? Just a pile of stone. The house is long gone. If it was a house, it may have been a barn. But we'll soon find out. Yeah. So, alright, I'll get back to you when we have more. So we have our first signal. And it's it's only in the 50s. But let's, let's dig that together. Nice soft dirt. Nice. Easy pickings. Let's take a peek. See anything? Not yet. It sounded real deep too. So let's go deeper. Some tree roots in there. Yeah, figures. Plate steel. Thought I was hearing a signal like that. All right, now you have to dig those. On to the next. So here we have uh, a low 30 signal. I suspect it's probably a shotgun shell, but given that I missed it last time I was here, interest me because I covered this area pretty well. And anything I missed, is very interesting for sure so and like I said I found some nice things in here every signal I want to dig because there's no trash in here besides iron iron chunks all right I'm not seeing anything it sounded small so let's hit it with the Ma magic detector. Right in there. You see it? It's not in there. It's in my hand. I'm not seeing it. It's small. That's it right there, it looks like. Well, oh boy, that's a small one. Well, not so small. Look at that. It's another flat button. Oh, that's a beauty. Nice. You see the shank on the back of it? Yeah, alright. Let's clean that up and take a look at it. Be right back. Yeah, so it's a nice old flat button. There's nothing on it that I can see. Shank is broken off, but that's a nice relic right there. Nice size flat button. Now it looks like there might have been something on it. Some kind of something. We'll clean it up when we get home. Can you see anything on there? Yeah, I see something. Nice. Alright, that's a good keeper right there. Told you this spot is nice. All right, on to the next. So we have another signal, button signal, right here where that leaf is. So let's just take a peek together. It's only a 10, a 
12 up to a 15 but it could be a small button let's take a peek together Yeah, as I expected. Shotgun shell. Right there with the little wormy. Yeah, okay. On to the next. So I've been searching around for a while. Mostly back there along this little tiny hill. Worked my way up here. And uh, found a shotgun shell right there. But I wanted to show y'all how to detect in these high trashy areas. I'm not talking modern trash. I'm talking uh, normal trash from a house. Um, watch my coil swings and you'll see. I got I got the uh, White's MX Sport in relic mode and uh, it's perfect for this. But watch my coil swings. Do you see that? They're short and, you know, crossing over each other constantly. That's how you pinpoint uh, good targets in trashy area. You can't be doing wide swings like this. That just doesn't work. Not as great. It's nice and small. And that'll help you hear that, that double sound that you get. Um, so anyway, all right, back to you when we have something else. All right, this one says it's real deep, about eight, nine inches. And I'm getting a, a 76 tone, but it's bouncing around. And I want to make sure I dig these. It's probably just a piece of iron. But it's giving me a good signal. So you want to dig these good signals. Yeah, there it is. Nope, uh, maybe that's not it. No, oh, that's a piece of pottery. Okay, keep digging. Well, what's that? Yeah, there it is. It was a piece of chain. Yeah. Um, has that shape to it. Nice linkage chain too. We'll keep that as a relic. Okay, on to the next. So I want to dig this one together. Um, turn the front camera on. This is a loud signal. This is the loudest signal I've ever got. Sorry, my lens is kind of wonky. Anyway, this is the loudest signal I've got out of here so far. And um, let's take a peek and see what it is. Headphone cable. Always in my way. Always in my way. I've damaged so many headphone cables. It's just 2007. Come on now. There it is. A big piece of iron. Looks like. Yeah. Probably a, to a big iron cast. Something or other. Yeah, those give high tone signals. Okay, on to the next. Alright, we got a nice little signal here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a peek. Ah, I got these tree roots to contend with over here. I probably should stop trying to guess what they are. <laughs> always wrong <laughs> I don't know if you could ever be right what is it it's a piece of steel yeah I got it in all metal mode so um, 
well, relic mode, and we're going to be finding stuff like that. That's got a little rivet piece attached to it. I wonder what that went to. Interesting. Okay, on to the next. What do you think? Look at that. That's an old knife. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of knives in here. I found two jackknives already. Well, that's got a nice little handle on it, doesn't it? Looks like it's been ground down to a stub. Interesting little relic. Had a wooden handle. Neat. It's a little bent. But hey, yeah, that's a nice relic right there. Alright. Let's move on. I'm working my way up. Up to this uh, stone foundation. And then we'll head over that way. But uh, over here, um, I found uh, some key plate parts. It looked like it went to an old trunk. It was pretty neat. I have it at home. Um, old stuff in here. Old. Alright, so on to the next. So here's that horseshoe I had to leave behind last time. As you can see, there's a root growing. Right. And I tried chopping away at it last time, but I didn't have an axe on me. Now I carry an axe. <laughs> All right, should be able to get it now, I think. Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah, that's been bothering me for a whole year. <laughs> I was in here last uh, last winter for the first time. That's a nice little shoe right there. Okay, yeah, I'll let you know when I find something. So I got a low signal right here. It's about a 10, it's about a 12, um, but it's pretty deep. And I'm interested in the signal because I pounded this area last time and I didn't hear this signal that's that deep. So I'm really mostly just curious. So let's find out together. Let's take a peek. What's that? Shotgun shell. I had a feeling it sounded like it. It was in the range too. Man, that is deep. Look at how deep that was. <laughs> okay, all right, on to the next. So I suspect the house might have sat up there on the, in the field on the hill. I went up there, took a peek, a lot of signals. And this may have been just the barn area. But you know, they worked a lot in the barn area too. Um, but we got a little signal here. Wanted to dig that with you. So let's take a peek. I'm not even going to try to guess what it is. That doesn't seem to work very well, does it? <laughs> ah, this headphone cable. Always in my way. Alright. You see anything in there? What's that? Looks like a little tag or something, huh? Maybe. Maybe. Hold on a second. Be right with you. Yeah, I don't know. Some kind of tag, isn't it? May have writing on it. It's pretty old. Yeah, we'll figure that out later, I guess. All right, we're working our way down that way. Okay, see you later. So we have something in there, coming up around in the 50s, right in here somewhere. I'd like to poke around and see if I can see it first. It's a little wing nut. Now that's not very old, is it? I wonder when they actually started making those. Yep, that's it. Alright, on to the next. 